right, so let's see. What am I gonna talk about? I had a few minutes here to record. I wanna talk a little bit about follow-up. I wanna talk about, you know, new agents, old agents, people that are working and, you know, they're trying to get their real estate business going. And I just have to tell you, follow-up, follow-up, follow-up. I mean, people say that and I, I think they don't understand. You know, I've had many experiences with um, other businesses when I'm trying to get something and buy something. And you know, maybe I haven't made up my mind or maybe I'm still researching, but you know what happens very frequently? I don't get followed up. It's like, you know, they don't follow me up um, or they don't say what, they don't do what they say they're gonna do. Like if I need a proposal or if I need some more information, I don't get that information. And sometimes it's just really damn difficult to spend your money. I don't know if you've ever had this experience where you're trying to buy something and it's just very hard. Like salespeople get in the way of the freaking sale, okay? Um, I think that's something important to remember. Follow up, follow up, follow up. The other thing that sometimes I forget and then I remember when I'm talking to a colleague that got like kind of rejected, a little bit stung by a prospect. You have to remember, and this is what Grant Cardone says, your interest in them is more important than their interest in you. Your interest in them is more important than their interest in you. I mean, people are running their own lives. You gotta remember this. People are living their lives, doing whatever they're doing, walking their dog, I don't know, you know, their kid has a fever, their kid has pink eye, whatever, they're living their lives and they're doing that. And then you show up at the door or call them on the phone and you interrupt it. And so, no, of course I'm not gonna be interested in you or what you've got to offer, but you've gotta somehow get over that and get over whatever emotional reaction they initially give you and get them on your side so that you can work together and hopefully help them achieve their goal, whatever it is, buying a house, selling a house, getting windows in their house, uh, getting a renovation done, buying a car, I mean, you name it. I mean, it's a situation. So I kinda wanna leave you with that. I mean, do not forget to follow up. Follow up, follow up, follow up. And your interest in them is more important than their interest in you. It just is what it is. I mean, it just is what it is. And and let's face it, if you're cold calling or door, or door knocking or even calling, you know, prospects that are like sort of like orphan customers, you have no idea what happened to them. Man, you're probably only going to get a yes from like a small fraction, 98%. So, you need to expect that out of 100 calls, you're going to get 98 no's. And just live with it. And you know what? Live with it as a fact. You got to get through the no's to get to the yeses. You got to get through the no's to get to the yeses because you're looking for the gold. Anyway, I want to leave you with go get them.